players this January 8 3, and this is around uh, 9 of AOR this season, I think it is anyway, and we're at Austria for this, uh, this race in the Ferrari as usual. And I love my setup here. It's a pretty nice setup. I actually have half decent pace around here, probably because it's such a short circuit that everyone's pretty close to each other. But yeah, my PB before the session uh, was a four, a 4.5, which doesn't sound that good, but for me it's pretty good. Which is that it's only like, uh, like three or four tenths off where the main majority of people will be, which is pretty good for me. And now you can see Extreme Day is a new driver for this, uh, for this race. Actually, he's uh, replaced Bosley, who's been moved down to F7 because he's uh, not very good. <laughs> and, uh, and now coming out towards the line, it's going to be a five dead, which is a bit slow as a banker, but not a terrible banker lap. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, I've had worse. I didn't finish my banker lap in Canada, so it's better than that already. And now this is the uh, the start of my... Uh, I actually did four runs, so this is the start of my third run in quality, so quite a lot later. I'm down to ninth with that banker lap. But you can see coming down towards turn one, breaking it 100 meter board on the curb, flicking it right uh, over turn one curb, take as much curb as you can and get a good exit. Don't run over the exit curb, though. And you can see that was a very good turn one, but already two and a half, well, two and a bit tenths up on the previous lap. And now coming up 100 meter board, breaking point down to second gear, first gear, general, oh, actually first gear in quality as well, short shift down to second on the exit. Uh, not a great turn two, but decent enough. And I'm getting maybe a little bit of slipstream off extremes, but which probably doesn't make much difference. And now coming down towards this next corner, uh, about 80 meters breaking point down to second gear. You don't really want to take the curb, but I did take quite a bit of curb there. Could take a bit more speed on the exit because I was quite narrow, uh, but there was more track on the outside, more time to gain. But it's not a perfect lap, but it's been pretty good so far. Now this corner is very nice on the wheel, and I'm uh, using the escape road to turn in and just down to fifth gear and clipping the curb nicely on exit. Don't run too much curb there, or you scroll off a lot of speed. But you see that's been a very good middle sector. We're now four tenths up, which is going to be a very good lap. Now to the last two corners, taking it a little bit cautiously, don't run wide and cut, which uh, is why it's not the best final two corners ever. But that last corner was pretty spot on, and now coming up to the line, it's a very good lap. It's going to be a 4.5, which is very close to my PB, which I was very, very happy with because not very often do I get near my PB in qualifying. So that's been a very good uh, qualifying session for me. And now you can see my last lap in quali. I'm, I'm actually another almost 10th up because the last corner I just went for it because I already had a good lap in and now turning too early. And unfortunately, that is that lap invalidated because I hit the curve on the inside. But that maybe would have gave me like a 10th because I was absolutely going for it on the uh, last few corners there. But it is sixth place, which is my best quali since China, I think. And I was only high up in China because I was on the opposite tyre to everyone else. So yeah, very good qualifying for me there. Uh, Vessel on pole with ahead of these new teammate uh, extremes in second, so good day for the Thrive Boys in the Force India. And um, I'm in sixth. My teammate Fred is down in tenth, so not the best uh, qualifying session for him. But that bit means we're starting at ultra softs as I'm inside the top ten, putting a little bit of fuel in, and uh, a one-stop strategy should be fairly straightforward. And now going on to the grid for the 500 lights for the Austrian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go, and it's a decent getaway. Fenham's got a good start next to me as well, so a little bit bogged down through the second phase of the start, but we're trying to uh, stay out of trouble, keep the sixth place, and uh, don't hit, hit Pickless at all. And yeah, that's uh, basically what I've done. Pickless gets a bit shoved wide by Fenham there. We've got an opportunity to go around the outside here into overtake mode, and down the outside off uh, Pickless up towards turn three into the into stream of Fenham, which helps as well, breaking 100 meter boards into hot laps to try and get a good exit. And now running outside of Fenham as well, maybe, but he uh, squeezes me a little bit, which kind of hampers my uh, run out of the corner, which means Pickles is still next to me. Side by side, down towards turn four, this is, and uh, still uh, want to break late, swing it around the outside, broken 100 meter board, which is a little bit early, and he's got the inside line, which means it's going to be very difficult to uh, try and hold him off. And yes, he's got this shorter run up to turn five, I think I actually got my words out. And that means he's going to hold that pretty well. Don't want to go side by side through there, as that will hamper us a lot of lap time. And you can see I've had the skill squabbling going on. But I think that's George and Fenham now battling. Yes, it is. Uh, and Fenham's actually got into third place, that is. So the two Force Indies he's going to have already run off. So that's going to be enjoyable for the whole race. Having the, well, yeah, they're pretty quick, to be fair. And now it's coming down towards the end of first lap. Trying to keep it clean. Don't want to get damaged as it would be very bad from this good position. Uh, I've actually got a chance of a lot of points here. So now we're going down towards turn one on lap three. Now a lap later and summon gymnastics will work on my back end. As really, you can see how close the pace is. You can see that's Fenham, George, Pickless, myself, uh, Summer Gymnast, Fred, and uh, Ben, and I think Ludemer. Like the, from fourth or third down to tenth, pretty much, is wheeled like very close. I've actually got a lot of overstay, I think. I think Summer Gymnast hit me there uh, on the uh, entry to the corner, but he's not close enough to make a move now into turn, uh, turn four. And uh, that means I'm going to stay, stay in sixth place for now. And, uh, Coming down to us, I've gone wide actually, missed the apex by an absolute mile. I'm really not driving well in the first few laps. You can see Pickless is kind of broken away already. And you can see a lap later, Fred actually got pick, uh, got some gymnast somewhere. So now he's directly behind me and he's got a better pace than me. He probably will do in most races, but I just had a good qualifying and he didn't. So I'm going to let him through now. Uh, team order's coming into a little bit, but uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to let him through. He's, he can push on because I'm not. I'm holding everyone up, really. So I'm going to let him try and catch the guys ahead and maybe make a move on them and get higher up on the, uh, in the grid because we are a team. We want to try and help each other out. But you can see, uh, I think, a lap and a half later, still just fine. Freddy's not really pushed on yet. And he's, uh, I think, obviously, he's on a pad, I'm on a wheel. So there's different parts of the track where we're strong on. So through the uh, high-speed corners, I'm pretty good. Uh, and then through the rest of the track, he's pretty good. But I'm going into low now. And Ben almost thought about a move at the inside there. I'm going to low ERS mode, I should say. And now back up into high, got the six stream and DRS on Fred. So Ben's actually got a very good exit. So he's going to, if I go here up into turn three or on the inside of turn three, which means he's probably going to take it pretty easy. He breaks a lot later than me, fair enough. And uh, almost squeezes me out on the curb there, but fair enough. He's taken that position pretty well. And that's me down to eighth. So yeah, my pace really hasn't been good in the first few laps, but it's still, it's a long way to go. So it could all pick up. And our Luma is just behind me as well. And he's actually going to maybe think about going for it, but just about backs out. I'll even left him a bit of space on the inside there. Uh, just in case he missed uh, his breaking point or whatever, but he didn't look elite, so that's me staying. And he's actually thinking about it again. The Ludema is pretty desperate to get past this point, uh, but he hasn't so far, which is helpful. And uh, still in 8th place, but you can see on the minimap, uh, Summon Gymnast is now in ninth, uh, in 10th, I should say. And uh, there's a, a big gap behind, so it should be points at least this race. And our Ludema is up the inside, and there's not much I can do about that. Very aggressive and uh, almost pushed me off quite a lot there. Well, he did push me off quite a lot, but uh, I'm not going to complain. I was holding him up. He went for the move, fair enough whatever like just take it <laughs> and uh that's me down to ninth so really i think quali was a bit of a fluke if i'm honest maybe i'd done a bit too much qualifying practice and not enough race practice which is normally the opposite of what i do uh, my quality pace is actually good around here and so far at least my race pace hasn't been as good as the people around me which is unfortunate but we're in a slipstream illusion now maybe thinking about a move down the outside off turn three with purple in sector one somehow i don't quite really know how that's happened but he's got the inside line which means can't really do much there but we're in the slipstream and drs again keeping it in the high rs modes and the rich mix and now down towards turn four on lap seven, we're going to make a move, maybe on Ludema, think about it up the inside, maybe a little bit of a lunge. Uh, he leaves his face on the inside, luckily, and uh, but I've actually had to take a very like tight line there and slow down quite a lot, so he's got a much better exit. But I'm still side by side, down to the high-speed section. We're going to try and fling it around the outside of turn five here, but no, he's got that pretty well. Maybe a switchback moves on, though, but he gets a pretty good exit, and I don't at all. So not on this occasion. Uh, Ludema stays in eighth place in the Haas, and I'm down to ninth with uh, uh, seven laps gone, and now you can see a lap later on lap eight. And the same situation again, but I wasn't alongside him this time, but uh, coming out of the next corner, he's just ahead of me still, and I've actually got stubborn gymnast to worry about behind. And there's a yellow flag up ahead, and you can see in the minimap, uh, the sirens are out as well for, <laughs> for, I think that's extremes, he's gone off the track. And yes, there's a yellow flag up ahead, he's in the gravel all over the place, so he's going to have gravel on his tyres now, which means he should be pretty slow for the next few laps at least, or maybe a lap, at, definitely one lap at least. But you see he's battling side by side with Ben now, and Ludemus just behind, I'm going to maybe try and go to catch up through this uh, battling. And there's another yellow flag as well. That's uh, someone, Mercedes of Fenham is off on the left-hand side. So that's a position gained as well. So unfortunately, Fenham is actually out. I don't quite know what happened to him. But uh, you can see up ahead, Extremes and Ben still side by side. It's turn one. It's going to slow him up a lot. Luma's up the inside as well. So very close battling. And now Ben's lost it on the curve a little bit. Luma's gained that position. I'm going to try and get in the sit stream. Try and take any opportunity that comes my way. And they're going very, very defensive, all of them. And Ben's running outside. Luma's running outside of Extremes. I'm going to try to switch the inside. Go to the inside Ben, maybe. But a little bit too uh, shallow of a line hit Ludema didn't get any damage luckily Ben's still on the outside L look at this battling now there's five cars within about a meter of each other and the stubborn gymnast is still right behind as well Ben's around the outside of the streams extremes blocks him off Ben goes to the inside can I try and go down the inside I know we can switch to the outside keep it a bit safe Ludema's hit extremes off the track a bit Ben's got the inside as well and I'm at the inside of extremes kind of he's got Lumi's face here and now around the outside maybe of turn five again breaking very late then but he's got the inside line and a much shorter radius of the corner and he's got a bit of oversteer though, so still in the hunt for that seventh place. But uh, very, very close racing. That was very fun to be involved with. And it's still not over because in this let's stream extremes, maybe thinking about the inside, but he's going defensive and don't want to go up the inside there. So, uh, that's very difficult to get your car slowed down if you're on the inside line. So decided against it. And now it down, he's locked up a bit, missed the apex of the last corner. So there still may be a chance to come into turn one in slipstream and DRS. I'm using all my ERS modes, which looking back probably wasn't the best idea because it made, meant that I couldn't really use ERS for the rest of the stint. But now through to turn one, he's gone wide again over the curbs under the inside and that should be that. I have to get out traction him and hopefully uh, we've got DRS as well. I don't know if he's got DRS because we've fallen quite a bit back from Ben and uh, Ludema. So now down towards the turn three, breaking it just has 100 meter board. I've got the inside line, try and force him out of the curb, and that is me up into seventh place, which is a, a pretty good a few laps, obviously very hectic few laps, and I think 
uh, Gymnast is going to get extremes as well, up into eight, so not a very good few laps for extremes, but uh, he's still got a pace. So once his tyres clear up a bit and he's maybe got new tyres on, he can probably push on and uh, get back to where he was, really, because he is very quick, and uh, you'll see that later in the race. And now lap 11, uh, extremes pitted last lap, so did Gymnast, actually. So now coming into the pits, uh, and we're going to pit onto the soft tyres, lap 11, one lap earlier than what I thought, but that's because Fred wasn't that far ahead of me. He was only about five seconds ahead, and I didn't want to get held up in the pits. So I've got a lap before Fred wanted to, so I can uh, not get undercut too much as well by the cars who pit around me. As Fred has pushed on now, he's quite a long way ahead. Fair play to him. So uh, he's missed a few races, but now he's back. He's back with a bang, and he's already... I think he must be in the hunt for a podium at this point, because uh, of the Fenham and Extremes going off, he's probably up in at least third, maybe second or... I don't even know, somewhere around there. But you see on the minimap, we're just coming out of the pits ahead of Extremes uh, with the lap fresher tyres. So uh, that's good. And I've actually saved all my ERS back now, so we've got basically a full battery to use on the first in. But now you see lap 13. A couple laps later, and Extremes is right on my tail still, and breaking 100 meter boards, and he's going to try and think about the other side, but no, he stays behind me now. I miss the apex a little bit. We're going to give him a much better exit. You can see how much Ben has broken away. As a championship leader he is, and he's got very good pace. I think he had a bad qualifying as well, so now breaking a 100 meter board. And uh, Extremes is thrown at the inside, using me as a brake almost there. I'm not very happy with that. And uh, I just turned in, there was no way I was letting him have that. And he had to back out of it, luckily, because uh, that was coming from so far back. And now a lap later into turn two, he's going to go for it again. And I've turned, I've, I'd, like, he was too far back then to warrant space, so I just turned in. Maybe looking back, I should have let him a bit of space, but you know what? It was whatever. He didn't get damaged, I didn't get damaged, so just move on. And uh, that was something happened since it was also spun out, surprisingly. And uh, now breaking at the 50 meter board, a little bit of a uh, bad, well, very bad last corner. Didn't really have the commitment through there, as I had done basically no practice on these soft tyres, which I, looking in hindsight, I definitely should have practiced on the softs because they're very difficult compared to the ultra softs to actually turn. And uh, yeah, I should have like practiced a lot more because my pace in the second stint was absolutely horrific compared to my quality pace, my quality pace and my pace in the first stint as well. But now Extremes is going to be in a slipstream stream and DRS and he's going to be inside this time. He's alongside just about enough. So I'm not going to turn in and he's going to get that pretty easily. And he's up into ninth place, but I think there's still a car to pit. I'm not quite sure who, but I think there's at least one car above two pits still. So it's a net eight, uh, net ninth place for me at the minute, which after qualifying, I probably wouldn't have taken because I, I was qualified sixth, which I always like to gain positions uh, from my grid spot. But since I actually had a good quality for once, that uh, I probably won't gain positions. Uh, and Ludemer now going wide in the last corner. I've gone wide as well. Someone who has to cook it. Oh, that's actually a surf behind me. The other Torosso, who is a lap down. But you can see it's a lot later in the race. He's he's pitted for a new, I think he's on a new set of super softs, going fastest lap or whatever. So uh, I'm going to let him pass because he's been right behind me for a few laps, uh, down into low ERS and low fuel, and going to switch to the right-hand side, let uh, a surf through, and hopefully he can catch the other two cars ahead of Ludema and uh, Extremes, and hopefully hold them up. Uh, <laughs> and basically, that's all I want for it. And now, coming onto a lap later, he's kind of caught up to Ludema. He's maybe thinking about the inside, but taking a very shallow line, and that's actually actually spun around. So that's a great job by a surf there. <laughs> I let him through to try and hold up Ludema. And a lap later, he spun off the track. So that was a, a well worth me letting him through. And now Ludema has, has fallen back quite a lot from Extremes. You can see Extremes' pace really coming to show at the later stage of the race. But now I'm right behind Ludema with Rich and Overtake Mode. He pitted a lap before me, actually. So I've got better tyres, I think. So. Now, coming into turn one, breaking on the board, he's broken very late, trying to force him out over the curve, and I've got the inside line, so that should be my corner. Yes, it is. And using the overtake mode and rich mix, so he's going to have DRS now uh, down towards the next corner. Actually, neither has DRS, no, that's a bit weird. And now, breaking on the board, but he's around the outside, and the outside line does get quite good traction on the top of the hill, but he's gone for a switch track move, actually. And can you get that done? Looks like I'm just hard about holding on to the position at the minute, but he's in the slipstream still. I've got the high ERS modes and uh, rich mix still, but he's going to switch to the outside of the turn four, and he's broken very late. I should have broken later there, thinking about looking back, but now he's gone around the outside, and Ludema takes that position so very well, very close racing. I'm maybe trying to go around the outside of the next corner, but no, he's, he's too far ahead for that, definitely. And now down back into eighth place, but someone else must have pit ahead, or two people actually, because I'm in eighth now. So very close battling with Ludema. I'm, I do have fresher tyres, and uh, you can hear Jeff telling me that someone who has a penalty behind me. So hopefully, uh, unless it all goes horrifically wrong, I should finish eighth at the minute, maybe seventh if Ludema, uh, if I can actually pass him, because I'm pretty sure we've both got the same amount of penalties at the minute, or maybe he has less than me, because I think I had six seconds, which I'm not very happy with, because I like to not get penalties, but... When I first came out on the soft tyres, I was awful, so I kept corner cutting everywhere, shock. And uh, now coming on, the uh, the finishing that lap, and Ludemar is still just ahead of me. 
And now, coming through the high-speed uh, section in the middle of the track again, Ludum is just ahead, so I was getting pretty frustrated. I'm pretty sure his tyre wear or something had happened and he wasn't as quick as he was earlier in the race. Uh, but only five laps left now, so if I'm going to overtake him, it's got to be soon. And coming down towards the neck, the last corner, breaking a 50-meter board, he's broken a little bit early there. Uh, I had to go down to fifth gear that time, and now fourth, maybe even third for the last corner, actually. Yeah, it was, was third gear, but he's still just ahead of me. It's very close uh, between us, and I've got to try and uh, stay with him with the hope that I can get him at some point. We've got closing pretty quickly. You can see all the, all the breaking boards have gone into first corner, so that's really helpful. Thanks to whoever took them out. And now it sits to you again, but some gymnast has caught up rapidly, and he's now right behind me somehow, uh, because I think Ludeman must be going pretty slowly, as I had better pace than some gymnast earlier in the race, but now coming down towards turn two, and that's not gone well. I broke a little bit too late, and Ludema has, uh, I've hit the back of Ludema and got a lot of wing damage. That's quite, like, I've got orange on one side and yellow on the other side. That's a very substantial wing damage for the amount of contact there was, I think. But either way, it was my, my own fault. I shouldn't have hit him. And that's actually uh, definitely why I tiny chance to get in P7 as I'm going to be losing time like no end. Uh, but you can see Summon Gymnast just behind me. He did have penalties, Jeff said earlier. So if I can stay within three seconds of Summon Gymnast, there's still a chance of P8. But he's going to overtake me at some point, definitely. You can see how, how much I'm struggling with this wing. It's awful through this uh, high-speed section. And especially the last corner is going to be even worse. And some of gymnastics all over my back end already. I'm going to break in a 50-meter board and try and take it like normal. But unfortunately, there's absolutely no turn in. And I've gone very wide. And some of gymnastics going to take that position easily. And I'm down to uh, ninth now. So, unfortunate. But my own fault. Should have broken earlier. And I've lost my wing. But we're in a sit stream. But there's no point trying to overtake really. And there's a car coming out of the pits there. I think that's uh, Soy Cabbages. Who is going to be a lap down as well. So nothing to worry about there. But you can see on lap 36. The amount of fallen back is ridiculous. It was probably costing me a bit up to like. One and a half to two seconds a lap. With only like five laps left. That's pretty. Well it wasn't worth pitting. But it was pretty detrimental. And you can see behind me. There's a few cars battling for the last point. But I'm going to finish ninth. But it actually becomes eighth. And then becomes ninth again because Badman's didn't have any penalties. Uh, Summon Gymnast had a lot of penalties. So I overtook one because I had less than Summon Gymnast but more than Badman. So it's going to be ninth, which is okay, I guess, with the all things considered. The points is decent, but unfortunately, uh, that's not my best race. My, my qualifying pace probably my best qualifying of the season, but not my best race of the season, definitely. Uh, down in ninth, unfortunate. Could have got maybe seventh, but uh, with the damage, not very good. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. This has been JY3, and I will see you next time.